Today's Tuesday tip is going to be on termination of users in EID. The reviewers have gone out and we're finding that there are still a lot of people who've either left the company or no longer have their same job to use EID that are showing up on the EID owner agent report. If you have members of your staff who are no longer using EIV, it no longer includes their job description to use EIV, you are to terminate them. If for some reason someone has left your company, they're no longer with your management company, yet their names are still appearing in EIV, you're supposed to terminate them. The reviewers will start reading your EID policies and procedures a lot closer to see what you tell them that you're doing about these two different type of people with your company and that have EID access in IREMS. So please look at it closely. And we have found one exception to the rule. And that exception is sometimes new management companies come on and the old management company has people still assigned to the property in IREMS and EID. To get rid of that and their names, you need to contact the EIV tech team and have technical support to accompany you in getting those persons off of your list. Now, don't forget that everybody that is on your list needs to be active and presently certified. If there are any people on there who have expired, it might turn into a finding. So take that into consideration. We look forward to seeing you again for another Tuesday tip. <music>